show, all you cyberpunks and retro nerds. It's your host, Los Hammer, coming at you guys again with another solo flight review. How y'all motherfuckers doing? Good, I hope. Today I thought we would check out the independent horror film called The Endless. Now, this movie is directed by the same guys behind the highly popular um, underground horror movie called Spring. That movie was kind of a Lovecraftian body horror film that was making waves in the independent circuit. I know a lot of people who swear by Spring. I think it's a pretty good movie, too. So I've got somewhat high expectations for their next offering, which is The Endless. You guys get to check out the trailer. It's pretty freaking crazy. Peep that, and when we get back, you guys are going to know my opinion on... The Endless. I was told that they were all going to kill themselves. And that's why we left the cult. It was our family. I want to go back. One day, one night, we come straight back. And what the Dickens brings you all the way out here? The video you sent. The ascension is something that we've all been looking forward to. A video. What if we stayed? How is that possible? You want to know what runs all this? You go find it. Woo. Who's next? We can't go back to our lives knowing that there's actually something out here. It doesn't let me sleep. It doesn't let me dream. Oh, what? There's something down there. If you let it control you, it's gonna control you over and over again. We're stuck in these things! We couldn't be happier. 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 There's something out here, isn't there? Straight away, I just want to say that I've got somewhat of conflicting emotions in regards to the movie The Endless. On one hand, this film is a deep and meditative exploration on friends, family, spirituality, and what it means to be an individual and self-exploration. So I appreciated that aspect of the film, that part of the narrative. On the other hand, I feel like this movie overreaches too much. There's moments where the movie feels incredibly stupid and silly, but all of the serious overtones really make up for that narrative shortcoming. But on the other hand, it also handles these more abstract and alien concepts in a you know, matter-of-fact manner, which kind of underscores all the artistry that's on display here in terms of an independent sci-fi cosmic horror. And with a movie concept this vast and this deep, you would have to use an immense amount of special effects. And I feel like that also kind of detracts from the overall deep narrative of the movie. At some point, the filmmakers had to expose exactly what is going on in these woods. And despite I wasn't crazy about all the overuse of CGI in this movie, there is definitely some beautiful shots to be seen here, especially towards the end of the movie when most of the more cosmic and abstract things start happening. So if I had to give the movie The Endless a star count out of 10, I could probably give this movie a solid six and a half.